and Ward. No surprise there, Polly. No, uh, the, definitely uh, Red Connor win there, and uh, Endoar, as we say, is a, a opponent that was not supposed to fight tonight, but a replacement. And so we don't really know anything about him and, uh, and uh, what his ability is, how many fights he's had, but uh, he's pretty cool and collective right now, but uh, he's going to start doing some fighting. Uh, of course, it's a 10-rounder, so uh, a long way to go. Mickey Ward coming off of a hand injury. This is one of his comeback fights as he climbs back up the ladder. He spins Andujar around. There's a glancing left hand by Ward. Andujar trying to work in the right uppercut. Backs Ward up into the blue corner. Right now is a jousting match. Now a nice combination thrown by Andujar. Ward trying to cover up and counter punch his way free. Another right-handed uppercut landed there. Andujar is a nice little fighter, Paul. Yeah, he's uh, starting to get some punches off. Uh, Ward is uh, working a lot more, though. But uh, Andujar is, uh, is a very uh, mysterious fighter for me right now. Is he playing possum? Or, uh, is, he, is he ready for this fight? Or did he just take it? I, uh, I don't know. But he, he is landing some good punches. And uh, he's... Uh, Looks like he knows what he's doing, but uh, Ward is pressuring him and staying right on top of him. It's a long way to go, uh, it's a 10 round or so. Uh, uh, I don't know how durable that do uh, Jock and uh, sustain uh, some of the punches he's taken from Ward. Well, sometimes these replacement fighters are just taken from other cards, so maybe it's just like a pitcher being moved up in the starting rotation. Maybe he's fighting a few days earlier because last minute uh, when the weigh-in came, now they, they warn Andohar, Kozlowski warns Andohar. Ward dominating the second round. Similar to the first round, but a nice combination there by Andujar. Ward with the left hand and bags up Andujar. Ward now strategically picking apart Andujar, trying to just land in that uppercut. Like a surfboard popping out of water. There's jab underneath that chin, underneath that chin, and out to the body, to the head, to the body. Oh, right hand there. Staggered Andujar. He's on Queer Street. Oh, he needs a life preserver because he's drowned. Look at him. He's on the unicycle, on the tightrope. He's a marionette cut from his strings. He's got the look of a man with 20 beers in him, Polly. It's only a matter of time. Ward lands some terrific blows on him. The combinations, left hook to the body, to the chin, and a solid right hand. That was a great combination by Ward, and he's really hurt uh, Andoa. He's uh, staggering, but Andoa seems to be a game tough kid, and he's uh, not looking to quit. He's looking to stay in there and keep fighting. Through the ropes, Andujar down and out. Mickey Ward from me to you. Oh my. Counted down by Kozlowski. He is up, he is groggy. He is out on his feet, Polly. He's an astronomer, he's seeing stars. And Ward, a one and a two. He's doing a Lawrence Welk on him. And now the blood spattering and spurting from the mouth of Andujar. It is over. It is just carnage here. And down goes Andujar in a heap. Mickey Ward in a big way. It's over. Yeah, Ward did a great job, fast punching. Boy, he landed about three or four left hooks in a row there. A yeah, real tough kid and good fighter. And, uh, and Andrew uh, Jar didn't have a chance to do anything. Polly, he was throwing nuclear warheads. Every single punch that Ward threw in this third and final round of the fight was a telling blow. Devastation with each punch. And I tell you, Andahar wished that he didn't go to bat and bail out Miguel Santana, he was a fill-in fighter, and now he's trying to fill in the pieces. Number one, he's asking the question, where am I right now? He was battered and bruised by Mickey Ward. This fight's not over. We thought this was over now, and uh, it looks like they're still going. He, he's, uh, he was saved by the bell. Well, uh, you're not supposed to be saved by the bell. You're supposed to continue the count, which I thought. Tonight you are, I guess. Well. This looks like another Lewis and Maine. I mean, this reminds me of Lewis and Maine. Uh, Nobody heard the bell, you know. Polly Andujar, I was going to call for a priest after the second round, and now he's, he's up and fighting. I mean, this is, this is like a zombie here, a corpse from the dead. And Ward going to town again. I know the girls here are having a grand old time. It's random blondes. Ward working over Andujar, who has a bloody mouth, 
And a mouse under his left eye. Oh, a dangerous right hand by Ward. Oh, Polly, he staggered him, and there goes the mouthpiece. Oh, man, there's a shot to the kidney. And down goes Anduhar as Mickey Ward crumbles him. He is writhing in pain. The crowd on its feet. It is bedlam. It is over. As Anduhar is convulsing right in front of us. Mickey Ward. One more stare on the climb back. And Anduhar is doubled over in pain, Polly. He buckled up big time after that shot to the right side. Well, Mickey Ward shows some great ability as a fighter. He looks like a championship material and uh, throwing some those fast hooks, double hooks, triple, triple hooks, and then quickly coming back with that right hand like that. His, his, his hands are like a lightning and he's a good fighter and uh, we're going to see this kid rise to some good heights this one. Well, he lived up to all of the hype before the fight, Mickey Ward did, as he gave us uh, quite an exhibition of boxing. This kid is good. He's ambidextrous. He, he, it seems, Paul, he punches well with both hands and that is such a lethal weapon for a boxer. Yeah, I don't know if he punches well with both hands, but what he, what he was doing was going where uh, the guy was most vulnerable to the body and then uh, getting them punches in there. But he, none of he doubles up his hooks, triples them up, and then quickly has that right hand ready to go at any split second of the moment, which he did. Three hooks, to, two hooks in the body, one hook in a quick right hand, which is uh, uh, pretty hard to do for fighters. And only good fighters can do it, and uh, Ward shows that ability. And uh, I think he's going to be a great, great fighter. He's going to reach some great heights. And here's Mickey Ward's kid. Yeah, and Dad just knocked out onto her. Wow. He put him to sleep like Salmonex, Polly. Fight's over. Thank goodness that Andohar is okay. Here's Jim Tuberosa. The winner by a is 51 seconds of the third round. His name should be Mickey War, because that's what it was. Unbelievable. It was a great, great fight. Uh, as short as it was, it was a good, a good, good fight. Uh, good punches thrown, a lot of excitement. The uh, crowd was up for it, and, uh, and Ward showed his ability, and uh, Woody's uh, up and becoming a great fighter, and showed it here tonight that he is a good fighter. Yeah, step number two, Polly, on the comeback trail. Well, that leaves us with our marquee Bash Ali fight, the Nigerian champion, the African champion. So we're just moments away from that 10 round battle. All right, Jim Kazalowski is gone, folks. There he goes, the referee, he just became a father. We talked to him probably right beforehand, but his wife has given birth. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Either way, He's done for the evening, and Eddie Fitz will take the marquee bout, the final bout. But back to that Mickey Ward fight. That kid is a class actor, clean fighter, and boy, those punches are devastating. Yep, uh, he is a good fighter. I'd like to see him again. Hopefully we can catch him in another fight coming up and uh, be here with the cable and uh, see him again. He's a good fighter and, a good, and uh, something to watch, something we should all uh, keep our eyes focused on. I think we're going to see this kid go up the ladder for a garden ball very shortly. Now, and as Ward leaves the ring, so does every woman in the place. 